Hello, this is Larry W. Robinson from GospelUpdates.com. You're listening to Apostle Designate John E. Ross on the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Show. Stay tuned. Why the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, thou should have no pleasure in thee. Jesus is gone and wipe your ear, he's soon to come. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side, you can make it. Christ on your side. On in you. Jesus is calling. He's calling. Jesus is calling. Even calling to you. Remember, he called from day one. Day Remember one. them times you had the stacks and the guns. Yeah. Remember them times where everything went wrong and you blamed everyone else with that same old song he got. come to do but I came to get my praise on I don't know what you come to do but I came to get my dance on you sing I don't know what you come to but do but I came to get my praise on I come on to get my praise on say I don't know what hey I don't know but I came to get my dance. I came to get my dance on. I don't know what. Come on. I don't know what you come to. But I came to get my praise on. Come on. There's a praise party going on. Say I don't know what. I don't know what you come to. But I came to get my dance on. Come on. There's a praise party going on. Say I don't know what. My back against the rope, shit, it caught me slipping Thought I had it together, I yeah, was somewhat tripping Devil fell back as I stood in his face Try to block out the hate Ooh, as I go to that place Stumbled hey, in this game, so many of them lost so Found out the hard way that life is no on, joke Never made the money, I was let the money make me Got to the point where I let the money break me Fell so hard, Come let on. the money take me Woo. Couldn't even tell I was riding with snakes But you hard on the grind, it could leave you blind But the man above will try to leave you signs
In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am the Apostle-designate Minister John E. Ross, lead minister and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and you are listening to the 2018 Image Award-winning and SPIN Award-winning Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Kingdom, our guest for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is Trayvon Perry. He is a proud father, CEO of Team D Apparel, a artist, songwriter, billboarding, charting actor, and radio personality from Brooklyn, New York. Kingdom, our topic for discussion is strong victory. Brother Perry, Please begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. Hey, man, what's going on? I am just so excited to be here tonight, man. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. It's an honor and a privilege and, uh, and a pleasure to be here. You know, I'm glad we were able to work it out. Man, I, and I thank you for getting behind the song and promoting it and pushing it. Thank you so much. Amen. Now, to go into what strong victory is to me, strong victory to me, I'm reminded of Scripture where it says, he'll make some of your enemies be at peace with you. Some yes. of them will be your fool, and then some you'll see no more. 
Strong victory to me is that thing you'll see no more. We all have trials and tribulations and, (laughs) you know, shortcomings that we deal with on a day-to-day basis, but I want to encourage someone to let you know that, that whatever that trial was, you're getting ready to see it no more. You won't have to deal with that no more. And that's what strong victory is. God, it's, I'm going to say it like this. It's the before things that gets us where we are today. And when I wrote that song, I was in a real pivotal moment of my life. And it just came to me just like that because that's how I pray for God to send me those songs, those yeah. kind of songs that will heal the nation and touch the, touch the, you know, touch the world not just the church, but I want the world to be blessed by this, which is why I can go into any arena just about and sing strong victory because it resonates with people. Um, The day the song came out, we were singing, we had a gig in corporate America, and people were like, um, I don't go to church and stuff like that, man, but all I know is is it it feels good. It just, oh, my God, it just makes me feel so encouraged to go on and know that I have hope for tomorrow. And that's exactly what the strong victory is, and it's the strong victory of Jesus because when you got strong victory in him, he'll bring you out all right. So I just want to encourage and tell everybody that I don't care what you're dealing with. Hallelujah. You may have been off to a slow start, but you're getting ready to have a strong finish. Praise God. Yeah, go ahead, Pastor. Hallelujah and kingdom. Our topic of discussion for this episode is strong victory and the idea of strong victory and is and strong and weak are often used as a paradoxical truth in God's word by the Apostle Paul. However, Amen. It brings to light the revelation and some very key principles and lessons for our spiritual growth. Number one is that our flesh and its weaknesses allows the power of God to be made manifest in our lives. He uses it to describe the degree of spiritual development in our relationship with God through Christ Jesus. Weak and strong are operative terms that combine the concepts as to us in the kingdom of God with knowledge, love, conscious freedom, and judgment, meaning, as Paul declared in 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, that is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties, for when I am weak, then I am strong. What Paul is declaring here in this passage of Scripture is a righteous cry of freedom and deliverance, not a exploitation of the weaknesses and difficulties that come with life and our purposes, but that Paul had been delivered and thus God had given him the victory. In Romans, the 14th chapter, the first through the third verses. Number one, the verse says, except the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. Verse two, one person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another person whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who eats everything. The one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does, for God has accepted them. Victory is defined as the overcoming of an enemy or an antagonist and the achievement of success and mastery in a struggle or endeavor against all odds. The Apostle Paul is using the imagery of food and the holy festivals to give us the revelation of the relationship between brothers and sisters in Christ. The kingdom should mirror the relationship of God and Christ because true victory is declared and received in the power of oneness. The imagery of vegetables here denote divine influence, seasons of harvest and our hearts being rooted in Christ 
manifold blessings and spiritual harvest and obedience to the command. It can also denote a person who is new in their relationship and require a little bit more time to become strong with God because of weakness in a certain area. Their weakness may not present a struggle for the next person. However, there can be an area of strength to the strong man that the weaker can in faith lend expertise or support to. Paul is declaring that a strong victory of the kingdom of God is when we don't get caught up in hypocrisy. But when we take equal time strengthening one another and brotherly kindness with the fruit of temperance, godliness, and patience for our divine growth, the festivals that Paul used in his lesson are the Passover, the Sabbath, and the new moon, which they all represent the victories to come and the symbolism of overcoming the world and coming out of Egypt and the divine protection of the blood of the Lamb and the gathering together of victorious churches, the coming together as one body united with God in obedience through Jesus Christ. And when all of God's children are on one accord, my God, what a time. Brother Trayvon Perry, please give us the final words on this topic of strong victory. Listen, thank you. That was that was that was powerful. And I want to give you this much, guys. Um, I'm always saying, you may have gotten off to a slow start, but you can really have a strong finish. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care who you've been dealing with. I want to let you know that better is not coming. It's here. It's it's here right now. All you got to do is accept better for yourself. Live your best life but live in a purposeful one. Make sure that you're living life in your purpose because in your purpose you find your treasure. Yeah. You understand? And you can make it through anything. you got to trust and believe that God is there with you through it all. And I concur and I decree and I declare that your strongest victory is just right here, right now. Amen. And Brother Perry, please take a few moments more to introduce yourself to the kingdom. Yes, this is Trayvon Perry. I'm just a servant from Brooklyn, New York. Um, I am a young, humble man um, who who led, uh, who was born and raised in the church, but in my teenage years, I got away and strayed away and did, you know, did some foolish knucklehead stuff. But thanks be to God who gave me the victory that he did not allow the enemy to triumph over me how he wanted to. And I never thought that I could be this person uh, standing before people or talking on radio shows or doing what I do today. But God has a way. And this is why you, it's important for you to get in God young people, even old people. It's important for you to get in God and learn who you are in him because had I known who I was going to become, there would have been some things I would have never um, been, would have never indulged in. But it's okay because I had to go through that point to get to this point in my life. So I'm saying it's important for you to understand who you are and who you are in God first and foremost. Take this time out now to get in your word. Take this time out now to find out who it is that God is calling for you to be today. I mean, not yesterday, today. What he's calling for you to do now. I don't care if it's bake some cookies. Package them up. You could be the next to Mr. Fields, the next to Mr. Linda Cookies. I don't care what it is that you um, God has purposed you to do. You need to get your hands busy doing it in this season, and you can watch God manifest himself in your life like never before. Amen. And what are the social medias that the kingdom can learn more sure. about you? Yes. Yep. Go to everywhere on social media. I'm, I'm, you, you can find me, Trayvon Perry and Divine Purpose. Um, that's on Facebook and Trayvon Perry underscore IG, uh, Trayvon Perry, um, Twitter, follow me. And then go download this song, Strong Victory, everywhere digital music is sold. 
Amen. And please tell us about the song that we are getting ready to hear during this podcast, Strong Victory. Strong Victory is getting ready to bless you like never before. You heard it right here. Tune in. Amen. And where may we purchase your music and support your ministries? Everywhere digital music is sold. Google Play, Amazon, Spotify, everywhere digital music is sold. Amen. And Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Tune in, Alexa, YouTube, and Speaker.com, Elations Radio, and Kingdom Influencers Broadcast.com, and on iTunes through Positive Power, Double XI. My latest EP, Remember Now Thy Creator, is available in all digital stores. And finally, in Proverbs, the 21st chapter and the 31st verse, it declares that the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with our Lord. Kingdom, always know that the greatest strength lies in God. May God bless you. And may God keep you declaring your greatest victories. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Bible, you pray. We've been made. Then it also declared. Then it also declared. Joy would come in the morning. I know you've been going through some things. So you've been wondering, but hang on in there. When will it come? You've been here for a long time. Have faith and believe, Trust and believe that everything's gonna work out. Come on, lift your hands right here. Strong victory. Strong victory. Strong victory. You don't have to worry about a thing. Have to worry. He sees. Strong victory. He knows what you're Strong going through. Victory. He's going to bring you out. The Strong, victory. Strong victory. Strong victory. Don't give up. Everything will be just fine. fine. Yes. In the Bible you read. Weeping may endure for a night. Then it also declared. It also Come on, sing it with us. Joy would come in the morning. I know you've been wondering. So you've been wondering. When will it come? When will it come? You've been here for a long time. Just hold on and believe. Trust and believe. That everything's gonna work out for the good. All over, sing. Strong victory. Strong victory. Strong victory. Come on. Strong victory. Strong victory. Strong victory. It's getting ready to outweigh everything that you've been through. Come on, lift your hands. Strong victory. Strong victory. Everything will be fine. Everything will be just fine. Fine. Romans 8 and 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helped us. For we know not what we should pray, but you can growl, lift your hands right there and say, I've got strong victory. You got to believe that you got it. You've got strong victory. Come on, sing it with me. Everybody cry, oh. Say it, you got it. You've got strong victory. We all got it. Come on, let's cry all together. Everybody sing it. It's gonna get better. What's coming is truly greater. You've got strong victory. Come on, Janelle. What's coming is greater. What's coming is greater. What's coming is greater. You've got What's coming is greater. Sister, you gotta keep the faith. What's coming is greater. What's coming is greater. What's coming is greater. You've got to stay in the race. What's coming is greater. You've got to hold on. You're blessing. 
I'll be just